to help us understand some of what's going on and how Alphabet might be a part of your health future, we invite into the program Dr. Vivian Lee. She is the Verily Life Sciences president of Health Platform. She's also the author of a book that hits the stores today, The Long Fix, Solving America's Healthcare Crisis and Strategies That Work for Everybody. Verily, by the way, is a sister company of Google. Welcome, Dr. Lee. Thanks. Great to be here. Uh, so much to talk to you about. Let me talk to you about this. You talk about uh, Verily building tools that put healthcare data into action. Help us understand what that really looks like to a consumer, someone like me who might have a, an iPhone. What does that look like? Sure. So sometimes when people think about data, it seems complicated. So I like to think about it more like just information. And one of the things that we know would be incredibly helpful for us right now is to just get access to information about our own health to keep us healthier. So one example is if you're type 2 diabetic, very common problem in this country, you need more information, especially now when we're afraid to go into the clinic or afraid to go into the hospital about our own health. So we have a technology that includes a continuous glucose monitor that you can put on your arm or your abdomen. So instead of having to prick your finger multiple times a day to just check your blood sugars, this actually measures your blood sugar 24 seven, sends it to the app on your phone. And then instead of having to keep a food log about what you're eating, which of course affects your blood sugars a lot, you can actually take pictures of your meals and snacks and you can actually see, gee, Vivian, maybe you shouldn't have had that second slice of pecan pie. Look what it did to your blood sugars. And then finally, you can actually chat with your health coach or actually video conference, just like we are with a physician. That's proving incredibly helpful right now during this COVID crisis. That's an example of how we can actually use information about a person's health and then help them manage their health better. Dr. Lee, it's Julie here. Thank you for joining us. Um, I know there are some products like what you're describing out on the market right now. I know a child, for example, with diabetes who has the kind of monitor you described. But uh, help us... Uh, a little bit more paint the picture of what this looks, what uses cases this has for coronavirus specifically, or what has come up for you all at this time. Sure, I can share with you several different examples. One example is just simply patients right now are not having enough access to care. So having this kind of technology is really, really important. In order to actually manage through the COVID crisis, our company was actually asked to step up and, and help starting in California and now across the country, was just simply giving people access to lab testing. That's a really critical piece of information for everyone individually in this country, but then also, of course, for our health policy makers. And as we start to look forward to the future and think about vaccines, which we really hope are going to be on the horizon, there's so many labs that are working on these, so many companies, we need to have that information about the population. We need to know who's been exposed, and who's immune and who could be a great, uh, a great person, a great candidate for a vaccine so that we can accelerate those trials. Those are all examples, I think, of how we can be helpful in, in tackling COVID and in preparing ourselves for any kind of future crises like this. And Dr. Lee, we know COVID has disproportionately affected minority groups, uh, namely African Americans. And a lot of that has to do with those pre existing conditions and things like diabetes that you had mentioned earlier. What are ways to really incentivize change in the healthcare system? Uh, I know that's a, a topic that you talk a lot about in your book. Oh, thanks for asking that question. One of the biggest problems in our healthcare system, which is made so apparent during this crisis, is that we have a fee for service model. And in our fee-for-service model, healthcare systems like the one I used to run at the University of Utah, we're incentivized to invest in areas that generate fees, like operating rooms and imaging centers and cancer centers. And we're not investing in areas like prevention, areas that are really critical, like public health. And so we need to rethink how we pay for healthcare and recognize that the there are some really great success stories across the country success stories like Chen Med or Leon Med or uh, Care More Health, for example, and the way in which they've invested in healthcare, they're paid upfront to care for people month by month instead of living fee for service. And as a result, they're able to care for people through this COVID crisis, not have to lay off people, not have to lay off doctors and nurses. Those are Dr. really great models. Dr. Lee, help us help paint the picture for us of what the future looks like then. Are you talking about a public financed healthcare system? Because when you say it's structured as fee-for-service, if we're not fee-for-service, what are we? 
Yeah. So instead of being fee for service, we can pay for healthcare, whether it's the government or the private sector. We're right now we're all paying for healthcare, right? So as employers and as employees, we're covering almost half of all Americans are covered through that model. Even with that model, employers can pay doctors and hospitals for better health outcomes instead of just paying them for every test and every procedure. And we have some really great examples of that. Actually, I talk about in my book, one group of employers all across uh, Seattle who banded together, folks like Costco, Nordstrom, Starbucks, they worked together and they demanded from the healthcare system that was providing healthcare to their employees. They said, only do what works, get our employees back to work on time in short order and tell us what it's gonna cost upfront so we know none of this variation. And when they did that, they got better care for their employees, lower cost, better outcomes. So those models right now could go into place, public or private sector. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.